Hello, so welcome to a new reading vlog. I'm currently signing this on Caitlin's birthday. So obviously this will go up after her birthday, but I just want to say happy birthday to one of the best people to have ever lived, honestly. Caitlin Bunny, aka Caitlin Literature, aka Hag. <laughs> I just love Caitlin a lot and we had a fun fortnight celebration stream like to celebrate her birthday so we did that this morning so that was really fun and got lots of big roys. Also I gave her, well I already shipped her presents and she opened them on FaceTime and I just wanted to show one of the presents because well all the presents actually were like matching moments for us and obviously we call each other bunny so I got us these matching bunny bracelets that says bunny and then on the other side it has our name. I love it a lot. So stunning start to the day. I'm pretty exhausted, but I need to film quite a few videos, so we need to do it. You just need to do it. Let's talk about what I'm currently reading. So honestly, I didn't know if I wanted to start a new vlog because I'm so busy at the moment, but I just needed to because the books that I'm currently reading, wow, they are incredible and I have to talk about them. I'm currently reading The Essential Rumi, which is a collection of poetry. Rumi is a really famous Persian poet and I... <laughs> I'm really on like, I guess it's in chapters, chapter three, emptiness and silence. So only page 17, but already I'm nearly fainted <laughs> and I'm not even being dramatic. Like me and Caitlin are buddy reading this together on FaceTime and it probably took us like an hour to read the first 16 pages because we were just having to take breaks every two seconds to just really soak in the words and like hyperventilate and just, it was honestly as if we entered a new plane of existence. This poetry is so powerful and beautiful i've never read anything like it and yeah like i just already know it's gonna be a new favorite like it is so beautiful for example there is an original inside me what's here is a mirror for that for you if you are joyful i am if you grieve or if you're bitter or graceful i take on those qualities like the shadow of a cypress tree in the meadow like the shadow of a rose i live close to the rose if i separated myself from you i would turn entirely thorn what a joke. Anyway, so I'm definitely planning to read this slowly over time. Like, Caitlin and I were literally, like, getting scared for our lives because we were like, okay, there's nearly 400 pages of this. How are we going to survive? So we know that we can't just read this really quickly because we literally will faint. It's just that powerful. I'm really not kidding. Like, my heart was beating so fast. I literally felt like I was high. Like, it... Wow. This poetry is just magic. But yeah, so obviously adoring this and probably will slowly read, you know, a chapter or so every now and then. But then also maybe I'll be so obsessed with that I need to finish it quickly. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely planning to read some more this week. And I'm currently listening to the audiobook Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This is a memoir and this is narrated by Chanel Miller herself. So it's a really good audiobook. And basically she was sexually assaulted and this is her story of trauma, transcendence and the power of words. And this is incredible so far. Basically, it shows how hard it is for victims of sexual assault to navigate the world after these incidents happen, how there's so much victim blaming, how the justice system is not very friendly towards them, etc. It is, like, I can't even explain. Like, I was listening to it this morning when I was getting ready and honestly kind of rookie move because I teared up multiple times. <laughs> it's just so powerful. And I just wanted to share some of the quotes this book does not have a happy ending. The happy part is that there is no ending because I'll always find a way to keep going. Denying darkness does not bring anyone closer to the light. It is not a question of will you survive this, but what beautiful things await you when you do. And Chanel Miller is biracial being white and Asian like me. So she does talk about that part of her identity as well, which I really relate to and really love. And I really love this quote that she said about her mother. So she said, I knew her accented English could be perceived as broken and simple, but it concealed the genius. Wow. It's just such a good book, like, uh, once again, I, I know it's going to be a favourite, like, it is incredible, I need to get a physical copy because I need to annotate, like, it's just so well written, and obviously so many great quotes, very empowering, such an important story to be told, oh, like, wow. I'm reading some stunning books right now, but I actually have a box of books to show you, so I'm going to do that in a second, so let me just get on the floor because that's where I want to be. It is raining, it's very stunning and stormy outside. Anyway, so I got sent some books from Penguin Freebies. 
because they send me books quarterly so I'm very excited. Basically they let me choose from different selections every quarter to get some books and yeah so very excited to show you what I got. So first I got How to Woo a Duke and Be the Talk of the Town and basically this is just like a silly goofy mate and it's really stunning very stunning pages and sides. So it says, welcome to the definitive guide to navigating the social season. Learn about etiquette in all its forms. Within these abundant leaves, you will be gifted with all the instruction and patronage necessary to take your place in society. But yeah, look at that. Stunning. Really fun. Then I got Bimini, who is a drag queen and Kevin loves Bimini. So I thought I'd get this for Kevin as a little prezzy. Then I got this cookbook made by Morgan. So this has... 60 recipes and it looks pretty delicious. So very excited to cook some of these. The one I'm most excited for, Conversations on Love by Natasha Lunn. This is basically written by a journalist who set out to understand how relationships work and evolve over time. So it talks about relationships between lovers, strangers, parents, friends, endings and beginnings. Obviously I read a chat recently which I loved and I'm definitely in my non-fiction era, especially you know learning about relationships in all its forms and yeah I'm very very excited for this. It says for anyone who feels lost and longing. Nothing could be more familiar than love. Nothing else eludes us so completely. So thank you so much Penguin for sending me these books. And now I'm gonna go film. February 3rd. That is such a stunning cover. That might be the best arc I've ever seen, like. Yes. And I'm sorry that I'm not finding it. Dying. <laughs> Dying. Dying. When you leave me, I get these men praise follow you around. Well, can I just say, you're supposed to be a girl boss today, and first you do the giraffe, and now you're doing this. Always a procrastinator. Girl boss is always number two. <laughs> I'm a procrastinator at heart. <laughs>
Okay, hello. So it's been a while since we've spoken. I have really not been reading much this week. Well, actually, I did a 24-hour readathon where I read people we meet on vacation. <laughs> you can watch that vlog to see what I thought about that. But other than that, I've just been listening to my audiobook, Know My Name. I'm like halfway through and continues to be stunning. Like, obviously, I haven't finished this book, but I really recommend this book to everyone because it is stunning. Obviously a huge content one for sexual assault, but if you're able to read it, I highly recommend it. It is just wow. And I actually have some packages to open, so I thought this would be a nice way to end the vlog because I'm definitely not going to be doing any more reading this week. Hopefully next week will be very stunning, so we'll see. Thing. So first I got sent Hannah's reading journal, Hannah from the Clockwork Reader. I am so excited about this because obviously I love journaling, I love reading, I love having a reading journal. I actually did upload my 2022 reading journal setup on my journaling channel. So every year I set up my own reading journal using a bullet journal. But Hannah has created this for people who don't really want to set up their own and you can just fill it out yourself. And it's so beautiful, I can't wait to open it up fully. And this isn't dated or anything, so you can start this whenever. And I'm actually going to use this as like a journal for all the books that I absolutely love. So like all my five star reads. So I'll show you my plan once I open it, but I'm very excited and so thankful to have been sent it. I'm just so proud of Hannah. She did such a good job. Like it's actually insane how beautiful it is. Okay, so firstly the cover, like this, foiling and the green just so stunning okay what you'll find tbr pages favorite pages book to screen adaptations hannah's favorite books reading goals and more so this is an example of how to use it so there's like a space for the title author format you read it in date started date finish genre so like i said i'm planning to record all my like absolute favorite books in this book so it'll be so nice to just have this over time and just be able to look back at my five star reads so yeah love this so excited like look at that page that is stunning i will have this link below if you want to get one yourself i am in love okay then i was having a sad girl moment the other night and i needed to buy a new sd card so i went on kogan and kogan have like heaps of different things and i was like you know maybe they have some sylvanian families so i typed in sylvanian families and then i was like I'm gonna get myself something because if you didn't know, I recently got some cute bunnies. Actually, where are they? Here are my bunnies <laughs> and they make me very happy. So I thought I would add to my little collection and I saw this thing <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, you're coming on with me. <laughs> Look at the babies <laughs> and the little chairs. Oh, my friend Tess is here and she said that she's scared of them, which is very offensive. <laughs> anyway, so finally, I know that she looks stunning right now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so obviously there was recently some Black Friday sales, and then this came up as an ad, and I was like, okay. <laughs> oh my god! I know, right? <laughs> that is so Look at my fun hat. Oh my god, the ears as well, and then oh. oh. My gosh. Oh my god, there's actually storage. Ah! Look at these shoes. So this is from Koi Footwear. And you have a little cute bunny with you at all times. Look. No events. These are amazing. Yeah, obviously obsessed with those. Those like when you have shoes now. Also obsessed with my new hat. That is going to be it for this vlog. Hopefully my next vlog will be very stunning if all goes to plan. So get excited for that. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon, which is always linked below. And that is where I upload extra content, like extra reading vlogs. We do a monthly live show. We do a monthly buddy read, etc. I have all my socials linked below, including my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash game with Chloe. And that is where I stream games and just chatting. And yeah, I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next video.